Over a hundred years ago, back in 1921, famous mystic and futurist Rudolf Steiner gave a talk titled How to Cure Nervousness. In that talk, he spoke about how people were becoming more and more nervous, more fidgety, more of these nervous tics were happening and people were experiencing sort of nervous breakdowns. Now, one of the reasons he attributed that to was that there was more information coming in at the time. Keep in mind, this was a hundred years ago. This was way before smartphones and what we're experiencing now. But still, if you think about it, how our brains and nervous systems have evolved, they've really evolved way back in Paleolithic times when people lived in very small hunter-gatherer type of groups and any information that we got through other people or the senses was really something that was there to alert us to do something. We got some information from a neighbor or from someone in our community or small tribe of maybe just a dozen or so people. And based on that information, we could probably take some action that would affect change and alleviate the situation and bring our nervous system back to baseline. Much in the same way that when a gazelle is running away from a lion, either it avoids the threat or not, but if it does avoid the threat, oh, it comes back to baseline. Then with the onset of Gutenberg and the printing press and the dissemination of news that came later on, so now all of a sudden news and information is able to go beyond just one small community and spread out to neighboring communities, even go all over a certain region, all of a sudden people started gaining access to all of this information that, well, perhaps not useless, certainly wasn't immediately actionable. And in this day and age, we are bombarded with a constant stream of media and news from all over the world. Our brains are getting sort of downloads of information that, well, it might be important for us to stay apprised of certain events. It's certainly not the case that we can actually affect change in all of these events, right? So what does our nervous system do now? It stays at that elevated level. It's not that we take action and it comes back to baseline. It just kind of hangs out and waits for the next piece of news. So long before the internet, Rudolf Steiner noticed that this was happening even on a smaller scale and that as a result, people were experiencing this heightened level of what he called nervousness. Today, we would call this anxiety. So he gave a talk and it's written up now. I'll link to it below. Very famous talk now called How to Cure Nervousness. And one of the things he describes in this talk is the importance of moving slowly and fluidly. And he gives a few different exercises that strangely mirror a lot of the exercises we would give today in say a neuroplasticity or brain retraining program. Things like using your non-dominant hand to do common tasks like brushing your teeth or writing, right? Things that will really try and synchronize the brain with the body using our extremities in novel ways. Now, in this talk, he really focused a lot on the importance of handwriting. And he calls our attention to, if you've ever watched someone write something, write a message, just before they touch the tip of the pen to the page, oftentimes what we do is we, we do a little nervous tick. You'll see someone do like a little loop where they almost gesture or loop the letter ahead of time and then they put the pen down to the paper. This was one of the many things that he called our attention to, to said, become aware of when you're doing this, right? And this is something that we can start to smooth out and change. So rather than having those little nervous ticks, which we can think of as like excess energy in the nervous system, this is trying to find its way out, we can consciously make a practice of slowly lowering the tip of the pen to the page and going right into the handwriting. No extraneous gestures and movements. We can also relate this to other things as well. If we're practicing filling a glass of water, for instance, right? Maybe normally we would have some erroneous movements or look to the sides and stuff. If we slow down, if we slow our breathing, we slow our movements, we slow our thinking, we slow our speaking. Now, when we go to fill that water, it becomes a smooth and harmonious movement. And interestingly, this has really been widely used in practices like Tai Chi and Qigong. It's all about slow, fluid movement. And the goal is really aimed at resynchronizing our movement with our nervous system. After all, your hand, your pen, your arm, anything is really basically an extension of the nervous system and an offshoot of the brain. So by practicing these slow, steady movements and conscious movements, we can start to do what Rudolf Steiner described as ironing out kinks in the system, smoothing out this nervousness or this anxiety. This really does have a profound effect. I invite you to give this a try. Start moving slowly. Just take an inventory of where you might be, your mind or body might be sort of skipping a beat. Can you go back and repeat that same thing, whether going to write a letter or type on the keyboard where you type something too fast and have to go backspacing? 
take a pause, relax, take a breath, even shake out some of that excess energy you might be having, and try repeating the motions intentionally and fluidly. The more we practice this, the more we find that we're actually deeply connected to our body and our nervous system. We start to feel an intimate sort of relationship with the system. And as a result, this is what Rudolf Steiner would say is being the cure for nervousness. I would call it calming anxiety or ironing out kinks, as I like to say, in the nervous system. So give this a shot. Let me know. Let's leave some creative ideas, get some ideas going from others. What are some things that you can do mindfully or consciously that maybe previously we've just been sort of rushing through? How can we use day-to-day -day activities to cure nervousness, to iron these kinks out, and to relax our nervous system?